we have, gosh, more setups than we usually have for the lab, honestly. Oh, that's a <laughs> sad, sad setup. <laughs> I mean, we got, let's see, eight, yeah. Yeah, eight's definitely very, very solid. And how was our entry count at the end? 24, 24. okay. Yeah. It's actually less than the single LM one. Holy crap. <laughs> how many were in the single LM? 30, I believe. Is that 30? Right? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's not bad at all. So, but a nice, you know, Sunday morning. Afternoon, I suppose, but not for everyone. I had to wake up for this for sure. I was oh, yeah. I sleeping in. Same here. <laughs> I, I definitely got about six and a half. Not the worst. Not the worst. Not the worst. Hey, but, you know, some of those big tournaments have 8 a.m. pools. I got to feel bad for those people. Oh, yeah, that's like, <laughs> I, I think as of late, they've they've done away with 8 a.m. pools. Yeah. Like, thank God. I mean, DreamHack started at 10. Yeah, DreamHack started little, at 10. Yeah, a little lenient there. But here we have Shenron and CC, President Charizard main, rocking Charizard hat. All right, winner's quarters. All right, starting out on Smashville. Uh, so I'm, you know, not the most familiar with Charizard. Uh, I'm pretty smart. sure most people aren't. <laughs> um, but in your opinion, just from what you do know, if you do know today, what is the pick for Charizard as far as stage choice? For stage choice. Mm. Well, I know, you know, Shenron personally, I think his favorite is Town and City. Uh, he does a really good job of using the super armor and his upbeat to get some early kills, uh, especially when people overextend. Right. Um, but I think, you know, Smashville is a solid just character choice as well. Um, you know, making sure that Sonic doesn't have too much room to run around on. Um, and, you know, Charizard does a lot of lateral sort of opportunities, uh, which are very interesting, especially on Smashville with that platform. Oh, yeah. Now, I was wondering how exactly Charizard could have used the platform. Um, down throw is potent. Um, it seems like it would set up for something on that platform, you know, maybe a tech chase situation or something like that, yeah. but uh, I'm not too certain. Again, I'm, I'm familiar with Charizard, so I apologize for my lack of knowledge <laughs> and ignorance, but yeah, I'll think, do my best. You know, definitely check chases on the platform. Um, and even just catching landings, you know, Charger is so big uh, where you can really easily get up to the platform very quickly and catch someone's landing. And against Sonic, you know, catching landings can make or break the game for you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Charizard are definitely one of the faster characters in the game despite his size. Mm. Um, however, CC doing a great job of keeping this lead and maintaining it. Forward air, not going to quite get it. Oh. But I think uh, actually a sour spot or sweet spot back here could seal it out. So CC has to be super careful right here. Okay, four tilt. Yeah, a lot of you know, don't know Charizard's all of his tail attacks are ridiculous. Have a, yeah, like a tipper basically on that fire. Um, so you know, spacing it correctly can really do a lot of damage and kill early. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if CC were to lose his stock right now from a back air. Yeah, it looks like Shenron definitely trying to uh, catch one of those back airs. Oh yeah, it's a bit on the slower side, so not the easiest thing. Up throw, not gonna do it quite yet. Charizard's a big, big Pokemon with yeah. a lot of fire in him, of course. <laughs> Uh-oh, Okay, though. that definitely will do it. Yeah. Just going to somersault him to the blast zone right there. And now, sit back, relax, and play Sonic's game. Yeah, Shenron going to need to do a little more damage here before we can start looking for the kill. Uh, but I don't know, something unexpected could happen. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. Well, that was unexpected, but, but he can get oh jab-locked out of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. It actually puts him into a jab lock situation. Definitely not something you want against Sonic. Yeah, doing across all the way across the stage. I didn't really like that option. Uh, you know, pretty reactable, I think, anywhere on the stage, but from even across Smashville. Geez. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little easy to see coming, but I think right now he's just looking for a way to make this kill happen. Yeah, but it's tough against Sonic. You know, you have to take your time. You can't jump into him. You can't really run into him because you're going to be met with an invincible spin dash. So you have to wait. You have to play. Okay. Okay. Just going to get the up smash wow. right there. Two Possibly tips. calling out CC's like jump. Shenron was surprised by that killing too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got him. Yeah, take it. Take the kill where you can get it. 79%. Um, definitely nothing he can't bring back. Ooh, oh, okay. Attack. Good, good Gotta punish. cost him though. That's a combo. That's something I want to see more from other players as well. Uh, Sonic's homing attack is pretty hard to punish if it hits your shield. It's not impossible, but it's right. hard. Um, but a lot of times you can actually just spot dodge it or roll on reaction and just get free hits in. And all of a sudden, Shenron. Looking for the kill almost. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that back here would have sealed the deal yeah. at that rage. Or at this rage. Next. Okay. I like the homing attack there. Getting out of up smash. Oh, yeah. Mixing up his options. I think, you know, homing attack is such a weird move. You don't really have control over it. 
Um, but I think a, you know, a nice Sonic can really use it to uh, you know, increase his movement. Oh, back oh yeah, here. called out the oh. jump right there on the ledge. CC with the hard read. Yeah, Shenron shaking his head, leaning back, thinking what he has to do next. Oh, yeah. And, um, I mean, not an easy matchup for Charizard. Oh, yeah, no, so. no, no, no. By any, not by any means. Now, about back to homing attack, I do agree with you. I feel like homing attack is almost always exclusively reserved for that last ditch mix up. So, mm -hmm. Sonic's out of jumps. He used, uh, you know, he's landing. He's super high above the stage. He's just using it to stall. Um, so, the ideal thing to do in that situation, in my opinion, is just cover it in case he does homing attack. Right. And if he doesn't, nine times out of ten, he's going to have to land somewhere unsafely or he's going to have to go to the ledge. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, okay, already seen adaptation coming out. Just getting the upbeat out of spin dash, so definitely solid. I didn't you know I didn't know solid. I didn't know Charizard could do that, excuse me. Yeah, definitely one of Shenron's you know favorite moves to just sort of pull out of nowhere, especially on town and city. Uh, you know, start up uh, super armor um, and a little bit extra too, and it's a nice big hitbox. You know, it's basically uh, Charizard Witch Twist. <laughs> Absolutely. But not quite that good, but Oh yeah. yeah. I, uh, you know what, honestly, that's okay. Well, no, it's not quite that good. You know, <laughs> he, he kind of does go into free fall after it. I, yeah. I won't argue it. <laughs> but, anyways, back to the match. It's not about Bayonetta, it's about Charizard and Sonic. <laughs> and right now, uh, Shenron trying to do his best Ooh. to use Flamethrower to just kind of wall out Sonic. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, yeah. Call yep. out. Not going to give him the air dodge that he was looking for right there. So, solid, solid stuff. Now, one thing I want to say about the um, Flamethrower is it may be a little bit less effective here just because the stage is wider. Mm -hmm. So, there's more room. For CC to run in and out of it. So we have Shenron trying to catch the platforms a little bit. Um, and Shenron's really used his extra jumps this game uh, to sort of you know mix up where he's going to land, take that time, and do what he wants. But CC still not having it. Catching a lot of landings. Trying to finish up the stock here. All right. And right now, Ooh. okay, yeah, that, that's definitely going to be it. Super quick pivot grab is going to come out there. And it's going to end that stock. Um, so still with the percent lead right here. But again, what I was going to say is I hope that Shenron, you know, realizes, hey, I have the lead now. Sonic has to approach me. It's a lot easier to play your game when you have the percent lead against Sonic. No need to force or rush anything. Uh, just, you know, do your best to wall him out. Just play reactively when you can. Yeah, CC definitely doing the approaching here right now. Oh, yeah. CC. Almost closed up this gap. Yeah, coming back. Nice combos. Nothing too crazy. Now, Shenron throwing out a lot of attacks. CC is sort of punishing him for it. You know, using that sonic speed. That Shenron, you know, needs to be a little more patient now. I don't think he's going to catch CC overextending again. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. See, he's not going to not gonna risk it going up that high. Oh, yeah. Oh, missing a flamethrower. Could have got a grab right there, but not going to be quite it. Yeah, CC playing very safe. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want anything to do with that up B on top of the stage. Oh, yeah. He, he knows from his first talk. I'm sure he has not forgotten. Shenron not going to be able to lull him to sleep. Oh, yeah. Now, one thing I wanted to say is Shenron, I think, has to stop jumping in situations. At neutral, he's almost taking, what, 50% from a couple spin dashes mm -hmm. just because CC is able to catch his landing accordingly. Again, Charizard is a big boy, and he's fast on the ground, but in the air, it's kind of a different story. Yeah, I mean, yeah, his jump squat's got to be pretty slow, so any of those hops are going to be a pretty big commitment. Oh, yeah. Not quite sure, and, you know, a lot of the heavies landing lag even on normal jumps, is uh, can be a little scary. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh! Not going to do it quite yet, wow, but okay. I'm sure he was saving that one. I think that was supposed to be a game-winning hit right there. Yeah. Really, Max really wanted rage. Wow, really surprising. Not on this stage, though. Yeah, pretty much, you know, the 10% that he gets from doing that, it's not going to really affect him too much because he's at 165. Oh, yeah. So the next hit's going to basically be death for anything. So. Yeah, I think even up throw will kill at this point. Oh, back throw definitely would do it. And yeah. again, Shenron getting caught right there. Solid mm. stuff 